They'll be calling you a radical. I want to get a video up about the fucking rhetoric and the spin. Know your mass march. My gig's called post ignorance. And I want very much people to very understand about this, all the bullshit propaganda spin out there. And how dogma you're all divided up. Look, we, the organizers of all these events, the, you know, the start, I give my phone number. I give my phone number. You can interview me anytime you want. But no, 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 no. You want to look, I want it very much important. I'm no fucking vlogger and I'm no fucking reporter. Now, I appreciate the, you know, reporters out there. I mean, we are changed. He's turned himself into an incredible freaking on location reporter. I mean, what media he is anymore. He does great work. You know, RT, at least they cover us, at least they give us an inch. <coughs> but. The YouTube bloggers, bloggers are no different than the media now. They spin. So what do they do? What do they do? They find a demographic of the story and feed it to... It's called dogma. It's called dogma. Look, you want to know about the inse the reality of Anonymous? You want to know the reality about the Million Mass March, the reality of post the reality of Fukushima, all this stuff? You don't even know who fucking started because you're that fucking ignorant. I get my phone number. <laughs> I mean, it's amazing to me. It's amazing to me. But then you'll spin it. And I want people in the UK to understand, well, fuck, look, fuck heads in fucking the queen. Fuck you to the fucking queen. I'm standing here in Brooklyn. In Brooklyn, this great place. You can spin it. We're not anti-police. We're pro-police. They're working class. We're pro-police. They're working class. You can try to spin it. This is the United States. We threw you motherfuckers out. Fuck the queen. We had the battle right here. The Battle of Brooklyn. Hamilton led it right here. Yeah, lost about one in the war. We threw you English fucks the fuck out. The queen, not English. I mean, we don't believe it. The queen, fuck you. So you spin it all you want. You know, and you fucking bloggers, bloggers in London try to spin this fucking boy. You don't know shit. You don't know shit. And the vloggers and bloggers, you know, you pick your demographic and then spin it. Why don't you try talking to the fucking founders? <laughs> you know, talking about the founders. The root of all evil is organized religion on a Sunday morning in Brooklyn. Jefferson, Hamilton, George Washington. I mean, let's get real. Put a tariff at the port, block the East India Company. So we're gonna target, target, no, target, targets us. You know, all these places. So, you know, I have my day after Thanksgiving, as you know, I call it Yellow and Black Friday. Yellow and Black Friday is a non-consumption day. Absolutely, it's non-consumption day, but I'm that every day. I never buy anything fucking new. No, and we go to nuclear reactors and we call out, we go to dump sites, we go all over, but you know. This year, it's going to be blocked the East India Company. The new East India Company. One of my land, two by sea. Paul Revere was a craftsman. So was Samuel Adams. They were craftsmen. They were craftsmen. Tired of the cheap Chinese goods. Taxation without representation? Oh, oh are you kidding? On Balco, that's exactly what we are in the United States. Our judicial is captured by the Queen. So don't spin us here. We have the First Amendment here in the United States. And you want to know fucking details about Anonymous? You want to know some details about fucking whatever? Why don't you talk to them? You know? You want to know about the Million Mass March? You want to know about fucking post ignorance? You want to know about the truth of Fukushima? You want to know about all these fucking socioeconomic fucking realities? Why don't you fucking talk to the founding fucking fathers? Why don't you talk to them? You spin a dogma bull. That it just proves my point. It proves my point over and over and over. It proves my point. That all those people, it's dogma burgers. They've ate some dogma burgers are deadly. And when they start to come up, they cause diarrhea of the mouth. And that's what you fuckers have done to the fucking media, even the alternative media. Thank you to RT. I appreciate RT. They've done great fucking work with this. You know, at least they fucking gave us a fucking inch. You know, thank you so much. Thank you, Weird James, Luke. He's there all the time. He does great fucking work. He's a great reporter. Turn it back. Look, I'm not a reporter. I'm an artist, activist. That's all. That's all. Socioeconomist, artist, activist. I'm, you know.
I make change. You know, I like what's her name in Ohio, the great old socioeconomic economist. She says, Kevin, I call you Johnny Appleseed. Freedom Eisenblower in Austria, the most famous activist, well, the most effective activist in the last 30, 40 years since Dr. King. She says, Kevin, you keep doing what you're doing. You have the likes. So we fight on, but, you know, they could spin their dogma all they want. They could do anything they fucking want. I get my phone number. You know, you want to talk the reality and the truth? You can't handle it. You don't fucking want it. You fucking hate it. And your fucking dog is spinned up. You, you can't fucking get it through your fucking head. It's an AML leukemia victim fighting for his fucking life to predict his own fucking cancer. A fucking socioeconomic economist in the fucking street activist artists they still exist and one guy can fucking rub sticks and start a spark we're not fucking violent we're tough fucking love my whole gig is tough fucking love anti police fuck we love the bar we we don't like the judicial we don't like these guys the judicial's been captured has nothing to do about police has to do with race baiting through the media fuck them has to do with yeah, there's bad eggs and all fucking things. People fucking do dumb shit. You don't make mistakes, but then there's malice. But we, that's why we have court systems. But they're captured. You know, they captured the court systems. You know, the I can't breathe thing. By the way, that didn't happen here. That was on fucking Staten Island. You know, Danielle Willard. I mean, they should be prosecuted, of course. But that has nothing to do with police. That has to do with the judicial. It has to do with the structure. And I got news for you in the UK, whatever you call you know, and we love the activists there. Those activists are fucking incredible. I love those guys. The fucking Queen's bitches over there, Fox News, the Queen bitches. Hey, no, uh-uh, uh-uh. We have the First Amendment in the United States. You fuckers don't get that over there. You don't fucking get that. We fought for it. My father fucking died for it. You been lab the fucking United States Special Forces Marine, died of leukemia. My uncle stood on Omaha Beach on D-Day, who just passed. My other uncle's still alive, go talk to him. Fucking POW and fucking Nam, the fighter pilot. That's the fucking men that fucking raised me. Don't give me your fucking English, your fucking royal fucking on your knees ass kissing Barack Obama. He fucking kisses the ass, he sucks the fucking queen's ass every fucking day. So did Bill Rhodesia fucking Walmart fucking Rhodes Scholar fucking Clinton. Fuck it, George Walker Bush, George White, Hillary Rodham, Rodham, fuck the Queen. Fuck a revolution, fucking A. And if you, you, you think revolution's anti-American, you're a dumb motherfucker. Right here, right here, the Battle of Brooklyn 2.0. No, we, we have lots of, police are actually on my side. They're on my side all the time. They tell me that. We go have beers, because I like fucking Irish beer, and a lot of them are Irish. I like Irish culture, and I love that fucking good Irish beer, and so do they. So we talk, you know. You want to fucking know about any of this fucking shit, what I'm up to, what the whole gig is up to, and I'm more complex than you'll ever fucking know. I've been at this a long fucking time. You know, at the beginning of Occupy and NYU, I mean, there's videos out there, you but you don't want to watch them, you don't want to see them. Why don't you fucking call me and talk to me? We actually love the fucking police. We don't like corrupt, dirty judges. We don't just don't like corruption. Simple. Same thing as Hamilton. Hamilton said it's just as simple between slavery and enlightenment. So the non-usury gig will go. I'll be in, uh, I'm going to the special fucking labor camps in California that nobody knows where they're at. Well, they know, they just choose to fucking cover their eyes. I slept under the bridges when I walk on with the migrant worker pickers. It's horrible, but it's even worse. The distribution centers that are in the Central Valley, I know where they're fucking at. And if you've ever been at the, oh my God, oh my God. So I don't buy anything fucking new. And we're gonna be fucking you know, we're not dressing up like fucking so-called Indians, any. We're not India. You know, we. I was raised by the natives. I really was raised by the Navajos. I was raised by the Navajos. I get this on all angles. I'm a very dynamic, complex fucking person. But I'm on the. I mean, look. I was given too much to live four years ago with ML leukemia. The Pacific Ocean, you genocide her. It's simple. I say it's simple. I fight for her. She fights for me. You know, these blackbirds, these blackbirds here, these Brooklyn blackbirds. You know, Brooklyn's so famous for its trees and its blackbirds. I get up in the mornings and I walk and I can still hear them sing. There's a few left. There's a few of us fucking so-called righteous birds left. Stand tuned. I mean, I'll do an interview with anybody. But you don't want the truth. You just want dogma. Stand tuned.